Welcome back, you beautiful people, to another episode of Shisha Saturdays. Sorry for last week, I wasn't able to upload one because it was my exams, and it's a pretty hard time when you have an exam, or at least when you have multiple exams at the same time. Matt, I know you watch this every Saturday morning. I don't know if you're gonna like this video, but hey, just giving it a chance. So, if you notice now, I am with my friend Van. You remember him if you uh, watched one of my first videos, I think it was my second video actually, where we ate at a uh, Korean barbecue, but now we're just uh, having some shisha and I want to try something new. I mean, something different from my channel. So, first of all, we're still reviewing some flavors. Right now, Van has the Alpha Kama watermelon, pure watermelon, and I am actually having a mix of black lava cactus lemon, 75% with 25% cane mint killer or cmk as they kind of like to call it and there we go so Van, what's the news for this week i heard henry cavill uh, quit um playing superman so he quit he wasn't fired because i thought i heard it was fired the lines are blurry right now because i believe henry tweeted that uh, that he's going to stop playing superman the words on whether he quit or he was fired i think aside from you know uh with DC's uh, agenda of pushing forward a female uh, lead with the line of DC superhero movies. I think this also has to do with the recent controversy on Henry's opinion on the Me Too movement. Henry got shit for saying that right now he's afraid of approaching women because of the Me Too movement. Okay, I get the, the message there. Uh, maybe he's just trying to be careful or maybe it was a joke. I don't know. Do you think it was a joke? I don't think it's it was a joke. <laughs> Not really because Henry has a reputation of being awkward. You know, at least that's how he markets himself a lot of people know that before Henry's lead role as Superman, he just stayed indoors playing World of Warcraft. That he does not look like the type of guy. <laughs> and if I were that good looking, I I go out all the yeah. time. Well, I guess if you're good, if you're that good looking, you can do pretty much anything. It's not gonna be weird. You can be outside, you can be indoors. You can still be a cool guy, basically. You said DC was trying to bring a more female movement or something for their movies. Yeah, all right now I think there are a lot of videos uh, talking about this. But essentially, what DC is trying to do is they're trying to get the feminist uh, audience. Okay, so they, 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 they're, they're trying to pull a Sony basically with the female Sony. Ghostbusters. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. Yeah. But, but yeah, I get, I get it with them having Wonder Woman already. That was a hit. That was wonderful. I, I like it. I, I, I like it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I both liked it. Who else do I have planned? I only know Shazam movie and Aquaman movies are coming up. I didn't hear about any other female led movies. I don't know. I heard this one, I think it was Kevin Feige. I think it was at the tail end of making Justice League. He replaced Zack Snyder because Zack Snyder had to leave for some family issues or something. The deal that he had with Warner Brothers basically was that he was going to finish uh, Justice League. In return, he would be making a Bad Girl movie. Bad Girl yeah, movie? Yeah, Bad Girl movie, but the same. But now, I don't think it's going to push forward because of his own issues as a creep that he is. So right now, the plan seems to be this uh, upcoming Supergirl movie oh. where they're looking to cast uh, Michael B. Jordan as Superman. <laughs> so I guess oh, yeah. The, what do you think about that? I only know that Supergirl is supposed to be the cousin of Superman. So if Michael B. Jordan, he's a he's a, he's a good guy. He he can he can pull off uh, a hero, even though he was a he was a villain in Black Panther. He pulls off a good uh, hero like in Creed. The only thing I'm thinking about that so is that if he's black, uh, that means probably that Supergirl will be black because he uh, Supergirl is Kara. Yeah, she's basically his cousin. Comics, right? I'm not sure if Supergirl will be uh, black as well. I mean, they're aliens, so I suppose it wouldn't be weird if one's white and one's black because yeah, oh, yeah. that's a uh, they have different biology. Oh, yeah. I mean, if they want a black hero, they already have a Martian Manhunter. Oh yeah, when he when he's in human yeah, form. Yeah, human form and the other Green Lantern guy. Hal Jordan? No. Hal oh, uh, John, uh, John Stewart. Yeah, John Stewart. John Stewart is, is black, so. But but I recall a uh, Martian Manhunter on the Justice League an uh, animated series. I believe that when he is in human form, yeah, he's, he's white. white. Oh, he's white. He's white. He was white back then. Okay, maybe my 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 memory's wrong. His voice sounded black though, so maybe that's why. Uh, maybe. How you remembered? It. Maybe I don't know. Say, let's uh, not talk about that for now. Let's, uh, no, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's review this these flavors first. So what, what can you say about the alfakama? Alfakama, how do you say it? Uh, alfakama watermelon. Well, it tastes like watermelon, the artificial one. I'm not like gonna... candy? Yeah, it's uh, what watermelon candy would taste like. In a video back then that was not 
finished, I was telling how with shisha, the flavors are always more subtle than a vape flavor. Oh yeah, because he's a vape guy, right? Yeah. yeah, I'm a vape guy. But I'm really getting the watermelon from here. And uh, before recording, just to let the audience know, at my first hit, uh, there was a huge buzz. I wouldn't say it was a headache, but yeah, I got lightheaded. It's a buzz. It's, it's, a, it's a buzz that people get from shisha from Buka sometimes. I don't really know when, like how or when it, it, it affects people because I'd expect someone like Van who, who smokes vape. How, how much is the nicotine your vape? Six? Yeah, six. Uh, six yeah, 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 six milligrams. And then shisha is like 0 0.05. So I, I don't know the science or how it works to make you uh, lightheaded like that. But I guess if you prepare it in a certain way, like now we have the, uh, you can see here, the Phoenix HMP actually, and it's on four poles. I also have four poles on my Pukajan 80 feet, 80 bowl, and this one's not as strong as this, so I don't know. Let me try first, and then you can also give your thoughts on the Pack the Seven with a bit of mint. At first, you never mentioned the flavor uh, getting into here. So when I took my first hit, it was what I described as the typical shisha taste, just tobacco. When you mentioned that it's lemon cactus, I'm getting the lemon, but what does cactus even taste like? So you're like me, you've never eaten cactus? <laughs> I've never eaten cactus. Yeah, I guess the guy I buy from Susan from Poker uh, Shisha Central, I get these flavors from him, and when he talked to me about the cactus stuff, he said, oh yeah, it tastes actually like cactus, like a grilled cactus. Grilled cactus? Yeah, I, I don't know how that. So uh, is that a thing? Do people grill cact cacti and eat them? <laughs> I guess so, man. I, 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 I want to try it, but I don't know. I don't know when we're going to have the opportunity to try it. Because the thing I like about the cactus lemon, compared to other actual like pure lemon flavors or other ones I've tried so far, it's just like I've tried ugly lemon mint, the alpha Kama lemon mint, and even the alfaker lemon mint. Alfaker and alpha Kama, they're both traditional style and style flavors. I didn't like them that much because, I don't know, they're, they're more like soft flavors, I guess. What I like about the cactus lemon, or at least this mix I have, is that it has some sourness to it. Do you taste the sourness with the yeah. lemon? Yeah. At, at first, I don't taste any sourness. That's why I was saying that it tasted uh, like typical tobacco. When I suck harder, <laughs> I get the lemon when I suck hard. <laughs> when I inhale. <laughs> you when you draw. When I draw harder. <laughs> Yeah, when you draw harder, you get you get the the, the sourness, sour notes too. Yeah. yeah, that's what I like. It's not a common flavor note in shisha tobacco, so this is what I like about this. I actually had this recommendation by uh, Shams Train. He was in another video I had that I interviewed from Black Love. Actually, he told me that if I wanted something more lemony, more like an actual lemon, cactus lemon actually gives it better. I like this. That's that's my review of it. The mint is subtle. It's not that strong because you didn't like. Yeah. Yeah, there's the mint, but it's it's nowhere mint. near vape level. No, no, of course not. Mint. The the flavor levels are really different. I don't really know the explanation. I'll just hit up some guys in Upper University yeah, after yeah. this, and I'll learn more. We, we hope to learn from the comments section down below. Yeah, that's. I guess that's it. <laughs> but I think the video's gone pretty long enough already. And if you guys like the video, don't forget to hit the like button down below. It's just a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, because I put out videos at least every week. It was just last week that I didn't put out a video because. Yeah the notification bell because it helps you know that I uploaded a video or something. And of course, again, if you've been saying it, just please comment down below so that we can know more about what you guys want. And enlighten us. <laughs> yeah, enlighten us because I know stuff about you know, shisha, puka, but I'm nowhere near like a lot of guys I know yet. So I, I'd like to know more and see you guys on the next video. Stay beautiful guys and bye bye. Just remember to watch every Saturday for more videos like this. He uploads every Saturday. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs>